Memory is a funny thing, and not just for us old folks. Hi, I'm Kathy McGill. In today's 1% Challenge, we are going to reflect on Jesus giving us the sacrament of the Eucharist in Luke chapter 22. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, open the ears and eyes of my heart that I may hear your words and understand them and fulfill your will. Amen. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table with the apostles. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it again until there is fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I tell you that from this time on, I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took the bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. And likewise, the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which will be shed for you. We have spent time in the previous weeks reflecting on the Passover. For the Jewish people, the memorial of the Passover that they celebrate each year is more than just recalling or thinking about what God did in Egypt. In the Jewish tradition, to make memory is to make present the things of the past. Observant Jews believe that they too are passed over and saved from death. They believe the events of the past are truly present today by God's miracle continuing in our day. So it is not mere coincidence that Jesus tells his disciples at the Passover meal of the Last Supper, do this in memory of me. He is calling on them and us to make present the events of that night in a miraculous way. We believe that the bread and wine, now the body and blood of Jesus Christ, are truly present and real at each Mass by God's miracle continuing. We are taking part in something that never ends. Do this in memory of me. Each Mass, I hear these words not just once, but twice. Do I take Jesus' commands seriously? Do I really make present in my mind and in my heart the miracle of our Lord that never ends? Sometimes this is hard for me to wrap my mind around. Lord, give me the gift of faith and the eyes to always see you unchanging and continued present in the Eucharist. Won't you help me spread the good news? Like or share this video. May God's peace be with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.